Alright, here's a match with me versus Verna. Right. Yes. Uh, I, I played him... I believe I played him the previous year, not in tournament though, but in casuals. Uh, he's pretty good. He's he's up there right next to um, Mac AOF. Uh, before I move on, uh, Mac AOF specifically stated that he was scared of Verna, and I I understand the reason why, uh, because he's very unpredictable. Like he will RPS you at the times you hit that you're not ready for, right? So it's it's very hard to predict what he's gonna do in certain situations. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Uh, Reynolds running that EX kill. Yeah, he's been he's been sticking to that character uh, for pretty much the entire. So game. round start. Hold on. Oh. Round start right here. I roll because most duel ons they they like to do four day. That's the little uh, where his hand extends. I uh, tried to read that, right? So I'm trying to be as unpredictable as possible. Trying to make reads, big brain, big brain reads, and he's he's tapping me right now. But it doesn't matter because once I get a hit with Yo, we're, we're even already, right? Gotta mix that overhead in. So right there, I read that uh, a lot of duel ons because I used duel on um, a lot before Evo, this Evo. Um, a lot of duel ons oh, will um, Rekka on hit today. if it's not a combo. Right there. So after overhead, I, I got the overhead, right? If you get that hit and you try to press a button, you're going to lose in that situation against duel on. So that's why I neutral jump there to um, preemptively neutral jump because I read that he was going to do Rekka. That's just how duel on players play because uh, I use duel on also. I get full punish. You know, we've been talking about it and actually earlier, yeah. how Renault is one of the people that really takes advantage of how to use a backdash in this game. He can't really right. do anything. So I messed that up. I don't know why I did down C there. Like, I didn't do anything. Pretty sure it's, like, my jitters, tournament jitters. That still happens. Doesn't matter. Like, leading up to EVO, I won, like, all the tournaments in the U.S. I think I won three, the last three majors uh leading up to evo minimum three i can't remember all of them uh i traveled to the east coast and won those th those three he's got one of the best characters to utilize that especially in those situations and that's look at this he mixed me up dude who does that shit? he burns a meter just to mix me up hold on how do you use a backdash in this game all right he's got one of the best characters Look. <laughs> See, I didn't think he would do that, right? Like, who, who the fuck does that, right? If he wrecked there, um, we would have... I think I'm pretty sure we would have traded. That's why I did Stan C. But he went for an EX teleport to get behind me and punish me. So, that was smart on him. But this is the reason why um, Matt KOF thought that he was going to be the hardest competition in the tournament. You can't predict what this guy's gonna do, all right? Situations where most people will just, you know, be nervous and try to like maybe there roll go. out or DP. Duel on's yeah, really annoying so. with uh, in this match, <laughs> and I didn't hit confirm that because I was like, oh, so, EX teleport. Oh Usually God, that's very does. safe. Oh. EX teleport is very safe. I guess I got him in an unsafe frame that I never knew existed. Oh. Hold on. Roll out or DP. Just hop back down C. Down C. Right there. He should have been safe there, but I guess. Uh, I jumped, I super jumped, or hyper hopped far enough to get him on his, um, on the end of his, uh, invincible frames. So I wasn't ready for that, and we stared down, kind of. See, this guy, I mean, this is kind of basic KOF shit, right? If you block the normal, right there, he blocks that normal, right? A lot of people will try to go in thinking that. The other person's not gonna, you know, is gonna respect what you're gonna do, right? You don't have to respect anything the next guy's gonna do, right? I could have wrecked there. That would have been a better idea, but I instead I try to apply more pressure by jumping in. And that jump down C is too good. Like it covers way too much of the air, right? 
And me, I'm just trying oh not to get God. poked. Right there, this is my problem with, with KO13. My issue, specifically, it's good and bad in certain situations, but me, I'm kind of a, like a wild player. Like, I'll move my stick around a lot. Um, I had to train myself to really focus on, like, controlling the way I handle the joystick. So that way I don't get um, messed up inputs. That was it? Wow, it did not confirm. But I guess it's too slow. There's only so much you can do, right? right? You have to understand that in tournament, you can't let that um, frustrate you. So you just have to take it as it is. It's like I knew, I knew I messed that up because I was being a little too wild, right? So let me calm down a little bit um, and let me get this shit because I know I can beat him. Uh, that was a complete accident on that. I know I can. There's no question in my head that I know I can't be up, right? And this match, I like this match, because uh, Duel On doesn't get free uh, teleports against uh, Vinny Mario. On, uh, so I went for that command, command grab. His command grab is so good. Look. Look how fast the recovery is on this. Right there. I'm already... I'm pretty much recovered already. I went for command grab. Like, imagine if uh, Zangief had that shit. <laughs> It'd be so cheap. Like, you just... With command grabs all day. If they backdash that shit, do it again. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, I missed the command grab. And goes in. So, this is another thing, right? Um, what I was talking about earlier. You poke somebody, they defend the poke. You go in. He did an early jump, I mean, an early hop CD to beat whatever button I was going to do. Uh... If I did a ground normal, he would have still beat me or traded. Either way, he's an advantage because he had a jump CD, early jump CD. And I didn't uh, recovery roll there because I saw him do the, um, the like, you know, just that slow fireball. Uh, I'm not, I'm not about to block that mix. That that fireball right there uh, does a lot of block stun, and he gets a high low. He gets a mix if you block that. And I'm not trying to block that. I didn't see it, the, the fireball just went right through me. I knew it was gonna go through me. And I don't know why he rolled there, but he tried to do some weird mix, and he gets grabbed. And here's the thing with Banamar, who's a grab. You get a combo <laughs> in the corner. That is so cheap. He's one of three characters that can um, combo in the corner off of off of the. Grab. Now this is a little tough for Benny, but not too bad. So I was really known for um, running up uh, command grab uh, in this game. Yeah, see, what Reno's really actually been putting in. Well, I don't know if I was known for it, but I was really good at it. <laughs> not a lot of people did it. Like, you know how. So this is what I was talking about earlier, where the game saves your inputs. Um, if you do it slow enough, if his, so uh, Benny Maru's uh, input for his um, man grab is uh, six three two one four six and punch. If you do the rotation slow enough, you'll still get the input. So my usually my input is um, four dash, and I'll slowly rotate uh, the stick to half circle back. Here we go. Look how far I am. Look how far I am when I do it. Right there. You can do it two ways. You can ro um, do it, do the um, the command grab immediately as soon as you see them, like right in front of you. So you'll go whoop, like that. Or you can slowly do it. You can do four dash, um, save the inputs. And in this game, when you run and you do down back, the uh, down back. The run stop on this game isn't um, isn't very quick, so you actually have a lot of time to um, slowly move the stick to a half circle back and then forward while still running. Reynolds, Reynolds not too upset that he had to use it. I think right now, uh, Reynolds, right there. Reynolds not too upset that he. So that's that's my technique on how I do it. Um, you'll see this a couple more times in this match. 
Yeah, see, what Reno's really actually been putting into... So Verna's, uh, like, very so hard, very hard. difficult to open yeah, up a lot of times. Because you don't know what the hell he's going to do on defense. You think he's going to DP sometimes. He doesn't. And this is what I tried to do earlier. I tried to jump over him. This is really good with Benny Maru. Um, but he DP'd me. So I was a little scared to try it again. Look at that. Off an exchange, he gets hit, and then he DPs. Like, that's the kind of shit I do too. So... It's kind of fun playing him because it's kind of like playing myself a little bit. You know, people say I'm unpredictable, but it's all right there. All right, here we go. Yeah, see, what Reynolds really actually been putting into his strategy. See, I tried to super jump above him to get past him to do that, uh, that little snap kick, but he already had preemptively uh, hop CD. Out for him. I got hit. Uh, so I'm gonna do it again. The, the okay. right there. See, a lot of people when you when you jump over them in a certain distance, they think that it's their turn. For Benny Maru, it's not your turn. <laughs> if I have Benny Maru, it's not your turn. Okay. Now that's still dangerous because it's not Yeah, he's blocking safe. a lot more neutral now. Not safe at all, really. So if he does it, then like, you know, so, it's so that time, uh, I ran up. I didn't save the input. I did it immediately as soon as I uh, got in front of him. It's a little bit more difficult because, you know, I mean, it's a faster input right there, right? Yeah, KOF has very so weird inputs. Oh. And I thought that was a safe jump. Obviously yeah, not because oh I got hit. Uh, yeah, I guess he was happy with what he got. Maybe a Karate. Oh, got oh, it anyway. anyway. You can buffer that. You saw that? He yeah, buffered that. Bad. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I, guess I got a little too predictable with my hops. Maybe Actually, oh, that's kind of a predictable. Like, you you recover your roll in this certain situation right here, and then you just want to go in again because he didn't jump in. Right? Yeah, thanks. I forgot. He didn't jump in. I forgot to use that. I still got this move. Oh, man. And you die. <laughs> yeah, that, that level 2 does a lot of damage. It's, uh, I think it's like 360 damage. It's a lot. Now Chen's been pretty much like, you know, pulling up all the loose hits. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, that's like tournament nerf. He, he DP'd into something. I don't know what the hell. Uh, I don't know why he did that. Time, I pretty sure. Oh, he messed up. I think, I'm pretty sure that was a level 2 there. And I'm like, alright, good. So he's got jitters, you know, like me. That's fine. I just gotta make less mistakes now. And I'm leveling up my power. So when Chen... Takes a drink, he uh, gets a 10% boost, which is ridiculous. And no hit confirmed for me. I'm just doing stance. No confirming. Playing kind of trash, but I don't really care. It's not a big deal because I got Chin. All right, he's got no meter. I, I'm not too worried in this situation. Look, he already spent his meter. All right, I get some health back. If I beat him here, I'm still not worried. If I beat him, I'll have full stock. Well, not all the bars, but uh, I got HD meter. All right. If I, I think I can do about close to 900 damage on a regular HD combo with two meters. Uh, if I remember correctly, so that's so that's why I know I'm not worried. Uh, as long as I get another hit, and he probably tried to DP there. He wasn't ready for that jump, right? And this match, like, I mean, I've played this match hundreds, hundreds of times. So one hit from me right now, he's dead. I'm, I'm not worried. Like, one touch into HD, he's dead. And I was like, oh, he doesn't have meter, it's fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. Doesn't matter. Get off me. Oh! God, he went for it. And that, you know what? He that would have worked on I any other character. That. But Chen now, is so I short. Is, really <laughs> I was I like, that's it. right, motherfucker. <laughs> look at this. Look at this cocky setup. Oh, man. The fact that he did that. Yeah. And, I was like, yep. That, yep. That that's right. He messed up. No, mm -hmm. it's not. Like, now he knows. Oh, he's willing to go for that. Okay. Look at us, with our sunglasses, indoors. What were you thinking? <laughs> it's like poker, dude. Like, you know, you wear sunglasses indoors in poker, it's the same thing, right? But you can clearly see me. I'm like, I'm hyping myself up. I'm like, yep, just one more match. 
I know I can do this. It could have been he tried to make him nervous. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, like, there's one more. Ah, see this Rekka right here? It beats any jump hop button you, you've got. It's a really good anti-air. It's, it's so good. So, you'll see me with against Duelon, I'll try to do um, neutral jump a lot. And I messed up my combo right there. And that is so good. He, I did an early jump. I mean, I thought it was low enough. But I completely whiffed, he low profiled. This is considered low profile, right? He already had his, um, he already, um, you know what? I guess I just mistimed it. <laughs> that wasn't a low profile. He just, he just ducked it. And I completely whiffed my, um, my jump CD. Or my jump 2, 2C. J2C. I'm like, fuck. Okay, no more of that. I need to, I need to make sure I get my timing right. <laughs> and look at that Rekka, dude. You whiff, you whiff run one Rekka. You know what? A lot of people complain about auto combos. I don't complain about it because I'm used to this bullshit, all right? Look at this. Look, he can whiff one Rekka and continue into the other Rekkas. It doesn't matter, dude. You're going to get hit. The, the hitbox on his Rekkas are ridiculous. He either trades or he wins. There's, he doesn't lose unless you, you do a neutral jump to punish it. That's it. That's the only way to punish it. And he's just being so annoying right now. Like I'm getting, I'm getting a little flustered. I'm not gonna lie, right? And I'm, I'm just trying to get a clean hit. Like, I'm trying to do a little bit to get a pressure in there. But oh god! Oh. See, he gets hit and it immediately jumps CDs, hop CD to to get out. You know, get out of the pressure. Like if I did anything else, if I just waited. See, I wasn't really known for waiting back then. All right, I just want to put pressure on you and fuck with your head. He said he got hit off his down C when I tried to neutral jump. Boom. Immediately, right? Who does that? He gets hit and does hop CD. No, that's not even hop. That's a regular jump CD. Like imagine if I just waited there to come down, waited for him to come down. I would have got a full punish. Or would have got a better. Wouldn't have died at least. Oh man, I miss miss space that. I'm usually pretty good at um, eyeing those. But, oh man, if he didn't EX, here, here's the thing, I told you guys earlier, he's not supposed to get free teleports uh, on block. I was wrong. Right there. EX, that's how you get away from that, right? See, right here, this is also another reason why I... Um, buffer slower when I do run of command grabs so that way I can see what you're doing right here I'm gonna run up try to command grab you but I'm looking at what you're doing so instead of command grabbing uh -uh, I punish that with a 2b do a combo this is also, and I mess up my combo, alright? This is what I'm telling you guys. This is what I've been saying. I'm a fucking wild player when it comes to stick back in the day. Like, I really had to train myself to calm down and get my inputs cleaner. <laughs> but old habits die hard, right? That was a good uh, read on the uh, command grab. I was like, you motherfucker. <laughs> And I tried to throw him into the corner, but you know, he just kept jumping. And he almost got me in that punish, but it doesn't matter because I'm anyways. All the way down to chin. Like you said earlier, uh... And I'm not even too worried because I know how good my chin is. I know how good all my characters are. It doesn't matter if you kill my characters. I know how good my other characters are, so... And he's anchor. Uh, he's, got, he's gonna get a bunch of meter. I can save the meter. I can spend it. It's good. All it does is just apply more pressure. And he probably tried to backdash there. He probably thought I was going to go for another throw, but 
Even if I went for another throw, the stance he would have still hit him either way. Like the close C. It didn't matter. He should have just blocked. <laughs> this, that jump CD, dude, is too good. And right there, usually most people, they go for fireballs in the string, right? Stan C and forward B, right there. If he went for a fireball, that would have been a full punish. I would have HD'd his ass. But he didn't. Smart guy. That's crazy. He didn't DP there, wow. and I wasn't scared of his DP either. And he, I don't know why he did that. He could have killed me, honestly. He could have, he could have killed me if he did a regular combo. Instead, he ended it early. Right? Oh, I'm nuts, dude. I'm nuts. I roll on my wake up. You know how unsafe rolling on your wake up is in this game? Because it's ridiculous. So he tried to punish me, my, tried to punish my roll with a button, and I was like, oh, you're gonna mistime this. I mean, it's not... I can still block. I could have blocked, but I knew he, he wanted to press the button, so I went for EX counter. Save the meter. I don't want to extend it any more than that, because I need HP. So I'm I'm ready Once for this next wire, this last round, all right? Look at me. I'm like yeah, all I know I know I just need two touch two touches and you're dead. I got enough meter, I got enough HD meter. Yeah, you gotta be careful. And he just burned his meter around start. I'm like, why do you do that? And look at me, I jumped. What an idiot. He was he was waiting. Ooh, he missed. Oh, I missed. See, this is what happens in tournament, dude. You can't play clean all the time, you know. Oh my oh, god! Here, one more. Oh, I read that DP! Look, you know what happened there? Hold on, stop. Stop. Do you guys want to know what happened there? I'm a fucking genius, but I'm also an idiot at the same time. Oh my god! Ah! I read that DP. I was so hyped in my head. I read that shit. I was like, you're fucking dead. I knew you were gonna do that shit. That's why I countered. That's a counter, alright? Get the fuck off me. I'm gonna this combo. No! And I drop it. You know what happened? I was mashing the B, but I must have pressed another button. So, this kick right here, this hop kick that Chin does. See, he has two of them, right? If you complete the, uh, if you press uh, B again, it completes it. So that's what I was trying to do off that second B. So I was supposed to complete it right there and he would have been dead, right? You see how much health he has? He would have been dead. But guess what? I stood up thinking I won already. Before the match is even done. The match isn't even done yet. I, I'm standing up. Because I got him with that counter. I read the fuck out of that shit. Right? <sighs> this is what happens, guys. Oh my god! No! Oh, what is it? Oh, yeah. Attack that. She EX. EX on Getsu, son! Don't ever doubt it! And look at me. What? I'm flabbergasted. That that happened. I was like, this should have been done. I'm looking back, oh. and I'm like, you, I'm an idiot. And Verna's like, oh, well, I guess I got another match. Riddle had that in the palm of his hand. Oh, and what? look at the boys. Oh. What happened? Meta Ape and oh, Hellpock. That was almost too much for me. And then this guy right here just coming up to me. I'm like, dude. In my head, I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. I know what happened. <laughs> you don't need to talk to me. He's upset. Whoa, whoa, it was, it was like, stop. And I'm like, in my head. And then look, he's like, oh, he's like, yeah, good job, man. Get the fuck out of here. You're, you're talking to me, then you're like, hey, good job, man. To the, my opponent. Man, fuck it. get the fuck out of here, dude. What the hell's wrong with you? God damn. And I'm like, all right, I need to calm down. <laughs> but it, it was, it was such a heartbreaker, dude, because it was already done. Look at me, I'm so fucking heated right now. I, I still remember. I still remember the time that that happened. I still remember how I felt.
That was a heartbreaker. And I was Yida, dude. I was just... Twitter. Look at me. I'm so mad. I took off my glasses. I was just so upset. I went to character select. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Still shaking my head. I was so upset, man. I had to laugh. I had to try to laugh it off, but in my head, I knew. I knew I was. I was. I was going down a dark path because. Because of that. You know, I had to refocus. I was focused that whole time during the match, but when something like that happens, and it's all my fault too. Like nobody else, you know, had any influence on what happened there. It was, that was all me. I'm trying to play my spots here against Dulan, because um, I know he's just gonna go a little crazy, and he's not blocking high. I'm gonna. Oh, there you go. Mm. Oh, I finally went for That's what I'm talking about, dude. I just tried to Rekka there and then the super comes out. I'm just trying to play as safe as possible against this fucking character. Man. There you go. Didn't block. Didn't block well this time. He thought I was going to go for an over. So if you guys notice, uh. Um, Kyo's overhead looks kind of like the start of oh, his low. There we go. So, look how he looks like, right? Doing that overhead. It looks like his low. Uh, his stand B is in the low, by the way, so... This game has tightened up. Now, I like what he did there. Like he kind of held back a little bit to think about what he's gonna do. And I was feeling myself, dude. I'm like, I got this first character finally out of the way with my Kyo. And this this match is so hard for Kyo because he can't just go in willy nilly. And he's got a very healthy uh, here. And jump CD, that Mr. Karate's jump CD is too good. Or he tried to do some gimmick bullshit. Oh, I read that. And I tried to do a reset, and he got a DP. Genius. Yeah, I'm like, you know what, I'm still going here, I don't give a shit. And he went for another DP. Imagine if I blocked that. In my head, I was like, you were dead. If I blocked that. But, I was so heated, I wasn't thinking straight, I just wanted to go in and finish it. I was, I, that might have been a, a EX misinput. Because he had two bars right there. And he's just messing up right now too, right? I wish I was this tall playing him. Run up the man grab. EX. There you go. I'm up two characters now. Uh, I'm low on meter, but that doesn't matter to me. Because I know I'm going to get the meter back either way. As long as I do good damage to him. Run up! That is ridiculous, right? That's something I would do. That's why I said this guy is unpredictable. Right? Who does that? I would do that! Because that's me! Right? I punish that. That's punishable with command grab. You can't really punish that with anything else. Oh! I missed the... And I was like, you know what, I'll just build meter for my next character, I don't really care. I don't like guard canceling into anything, CD or roll. I like saving my meter, that's just, that's just me. I don't know why I'm like that, but I am. And look at me. Oh my god! And out of all the times, I was reading him, I was gonna read him doing that, right? This is gonna be huge! Oh, just does it anyway. He hasn't been able to reset that at all. This is stuff right here for Chin. In this situation, I'm dead. Oh my god, got him! That situation right there is very tough for Chin. And I was, I was upset. I was like, alright. Get shit. I was like, get shit. I looked him in his eyes. I looked through his sunglasses into his eyes. And was like... You know that shit was mine, right? <laughs> that shit was mine. 
So the reason why I showed you guys this match, this isn't even top eight yet. All right, it says semifinals. It's like top 16. This is top 16. This was actually the match to get into top eight uh, winners. I showed you guys this match because because of how I lost that match, it got my head right for the rest of top eight. Like, I was on the warpath, but then I was, I made sure that I was controlled. All my thought processes were controlled. Like, I, I knew, I knew I could win this tournament, but I had to control how I did it and be in control. That's the only way that was, that was going to happen for me. Sure, I made mistakes, but that's just part of the game, right? You, you can't let those, those things affect you. You have to understand what happened. You got to understand how to correct it. All right. So, uh, that's for my first video. I appreciate you guys watching. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, Vern is a hell of a, hell of a player, man. Um, I do like playing him. Oh, till next time guys.